Hello and welcome to this Power BI video. We are continuing our tutorial series and today we are going to discuss two more functions which are going to be now and UTC now. So let's start. So first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a uh, series and I'll let you know why I'm creating a series. So I'm going to create a new table. So I go to uh, data and go to new table and here I'm going to generate a series and I'm going to call it uh, let's say counter. I'm going to generate a series. I'm going to generate a bigger series. Let's say generate series and let's say 1 to 1000. I'm going to 10,000 and I'll tell you why I'm generating a bigger number. Okay. So I've generated a series and now what I have a table, I can create a major here. And one thing which I've also done here is I edited play access from the marketplace. So I went to marketplace from here, get more visual and search their play access. And these, these days, sometime it by default shows editorial as the uh, first choice yeah, as a tab. And I clicked on all the visuals and I got play axis and I loaded play axis also here. So we are going to use it. I'm going to tell you how to do. First of all, let's create a couple of majors. So first major, which I'm going to create is now. And simply I'm going to say now. Okay. And the second major, which I'm going to create is now UTC. UTC now we are going to use here and we are going to create another major and we are going to call it now utc and we let's use utc now now what's the difference between uh, now and today so now is going to give us the date and time and um, and then today is only going to give us date so i created these two um, card visuals i'm going to drag now here and we are utc minus 530 so you will observe that difference is here now, why I created this series because I want to loop here and I want to loop using this play axis. So I'll let me click on empty place and I'm going to do give this. So now what I can do is I can actually put this my value here and I can actually have a loop on it. And why you would have a question that, you know, uh, why don't uh, we put uh, this play axis into a loop? So if you go here and you look at the animation setting, you can actually loop it here. But what I found out that if you loop it, actually it keep on looping the same time. So the UTC time does not take. And why only 10,000? Because the assumption is that you are going to refresh your page or you are going to do something else to uh, make your page to have some more action where it can get reloaded. So 10,000 is a sufficient number. If you need bigger number, if you want a continuous clock and it's not going to refresh, you can take a bigger number. You can take a day kind of a number and a page can get refreshed once in a day. So that you can use. Now let's start this play axis. So Right now, this uh, the time when we are displayed. So it should take a jump as soon as it refreshes. So it has already taken a jump. And now you can see this clock. There could be a minor difference because of uh, the setting of seconds, which we have done there and which are done there. So now this is what is happening is every second it is uh, refreshing. So the use uh, here, for especially for this play access case is you can like create a digital clock. So try this out to a very simple function. And, and they are going to help you out here. Like, I want to form, find out difference in time. Let's say I already have a time and I want to know whether I passed now or I am still below now. Or what is the difference between the so date diff, you can have your date, uh, date time, basically column and now, and then you can say in hours, second, minutes, or whatever you want. So there also you can use uh, now. And now UTC specifically, if you want to get some global times now from, you can use time, time now UTC and then you can have your own time zone attached to it. So by default, you are going to get a local time anyways uh, from now. So try these functions out. Do let us know anything else you wanted to know. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon so that you can get the notification for new video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.